Attorney General, during the department's criminal investigation of Hunter Biden, investigators gave Hunter's counsel a heads up regarding their future investigative actions, specifically a pending search warrant. Does the Department of Justice usually tip off the defense counsel ahead of time to warn them that they'll be executing a search warrant? You're asking me about a case that's in trial as we speak, and I'm just not going to comment on it. I think that's highly inappropriate for me to do. Oh, this would not be inappropriate at all. Do you warn defense counsel ahead of time? Is this a standard operating procedure for uh, the Department of Justice to notify that you're going to execute a search warrant? I think I've answered this question before. It depends on the situation. In some circumstances, yes. In some circumstances, no. Generally not, but so shortly after, always. If, if I may interrupt, shortly after the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago, you said upholding the rule of law means applying the law evenly without fear or favor. Did the Department of Justice give the same courtesy to President Trump's counsel and warn them about the search warrant? For Mar-a-Lago? Saying the issues are determined on the ground with respect to um, what people uh, are concerned about on the ground. Um, that, that issue about Mar-a-Lago is also the subject so, of a challenge in court, and I'm not going to comment about that either. So one, you notified defense counsel, the other one you didn't. I don't know whether, uh, whether you're accurately describing what happened in the uh, Hunter Biden case or not. During special counsel Hur's investigation into whether or not President Biden retained classified documents, he found that President Biden knew the information in his possession was classified. Isn't that correct? Um, I, don't I don't recall the exact words of, of Mr. Hur, but, uh, but um, they are what they are. Yeah, I mean, he knew the information. Um, um, Joe Biden knew the information that he had in his possession was classified. I, I think that's widely known. Again, uh, Mr. Herr testified for five hours in front of you, and all these questions could be asked of him. Um, um, and and he, 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 a long report that's on the public record on this question. I'm just not going to comment, just like I didn't comment on Mr. Durham's report. Did when then asked me to do that? Did then Vice President Biden have the authority? to declassify the classified documents he illegally retained. Mr. Herr addressed any questions like that in, in his um, report. I know what you're really asking me about is the case in um, uh, Florida, and I'm just not going to comment on matters that are being litigated in court. It's highly inappropriate for me to so do that. So you can't comment on something that's already out there publicly by Mr. Herr. Simply uh, did Vice President Biden, then Vice President, did he have the ability to declassify classified documents? Mr. Hur. Does any Vice President have the uh, ability to declassify classified documents? I, it depends on who the original, I mean, the, the ultimate theory goes back to an executive order that depends on the original of the classification. Have any this other, is a very long discussion about classification. Have any other former presidents, Vice Presidents, or Cabinet Secretaries retained classified information after they left office? Have others done this? I, I don't know. Mr. Herr... Uh, uh, Did Vice President Pence have Ms. classified Mr. documents? Mr. Herr recounted the information that he had about past... Um, did, um, keeping did former up, Secretary uh, of State Hillary Clinton, did she have classified documents? No, anything more than Mr. Herr reported in his report on these matters. How many of those that have had classified documents, either a former Vice President like Pence or um, Secretary of State like Hillary Clinton... How many of them were charged with retaining classified information? Mr. Herr explained why he chose not to, cla to, to recommend a, 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 a charge. The answer is none of them were charged. And how many of them, none of them were charged other than President Trump. How many of them are currently running for president against President Biden? Mr. Herr explained in detail the reasons that distinguished former president's case from the current president. Was there opposition in the Washington field office seeking a search warrant of Mar-a-Lago? I, I, I'm hoping that there was always discussion in field offices about the appropriate um, approach. Who gave I, the go-ahead to know, do the search? I know that the, the uh, reference to the special agent that was made earlier uh, left out the conclusion of his transcript, which is he thought it was lawful. Who gave the go-ahead to do the search warrant? to execute the search warrant on Mar-a-Lago. Magistrate judge in, uh, in the district approved the search warrant. Who ultimately um, okayed it within the Department of Justice? I've already said I approved the recommendation to seek a search warrant. The search warrant 
application then went to a judge who found probable cause for the search for the reasons stated in the affidavit and splayed all over the record of the 11th Circuit opinion. Mr. Chairman, classified documents. Biden? No. Trump? Yes. Counsel notified? Biden? Yes. Trump? No. The dual system of justice in America.